Hello, welcome to Math Learners Uganda. Today we want to convert recurring decimals into uh, fractions and uh, we are going to go straight to our examples and we are going to start with example number one. Number one, we want to convert uh, 0 0.777 uh, recurring into fractions. Uh, what do you do here? Uh, the steps are simple. You let uh, any letter of the alphabet be the number so let me let y to be 0, 0 0.777 7. you call that equation 1 then you write the same equation that you have formed the equation 1 to call it equation 2 that is 0 0.77 7, uh, 7. Uh, you call it now equation 2 uh, you read read the place value of the last recurring number in equation one and the place value of the last recurring number remember there's only one recurring number that is seven and the place value is tenth so you multiply uh equation one by ten uh, on both sides then you, in equation two you read the place value of the last non-recurring uh, number and the last non-recurring number is zero and the place value is the one so you multiply uh, that same by one let me now multiply them that will give us 10 y equals to 7.77 7, that is equation one then equation two one times y is y and 0 0.777 by one is the same so you subtract and you subtract you have 9y uh, equals to 0, 0, uh, 7 so you divide both sides by 9 both sides by 9 so your fraction will be uh, 7 over 9 Number two, zero point six three six three recurring. Let us convert zero point six three six three. Let we are going to let uh, y be the number zero point six three six three. Uh, we shall call it equation one. We copy the same and we call it equation two. We copy the same equation that we have formed. So y equals to 0 0.6363, we shall call it equation 2. Now we read the place value of the last repeating number in equation 1, and the place value is 100th, the place value of 3, which is the last repeating number, is 100th, so you multiply equation 1 on both sides by 100 then we read the place value of the last non-repeating number we have only one and it's zero the place value is one so you multiply both sides by one so when we multiply we get a 100y in equation one equals to when we multiply the 100 0 0.6363 we go two steps to 63.6363 then when we multiply one times y we get y 0 0.6363 times 1 uh, is 0 0.6363. The next step is to subtract the 2. So we get uh, 99y equals to uh, 63.00. Uh, so that will give us... Uh, uh, 99y equals to 63 uh, divide both sides by 99 divide both sides by 99 so it will give us now y equals to 63 over 99 uh, so that was uh, number two let us go to let us go to Number three. Number three. Us wanted to convert 
1.274274 so let again let x be 1.274274 we can call this equation 1 copy the same equation and call it equation 2 uh, 274 274 this is equation 2 plus value of the gas repeating number in equation 1 is a thousand so we multiply uh, both sides by 1000 and uh, the plus value of the last number repeating here uh, is 1 so we multiply both sides by 1 and that will now give us uh, 1000x in equation 1 equals to when we move three steps we multiply 1.274 274 by 1000 becomes 1274.274 and uh, 1 times x is the same as x then 1 times 1 1.274 274 is the same as 1.2 74 uh you can add more 274 274 so we can subtract uh the two when we subtract uh, 1000 by 1 x 1000 x by 1 x we get 9000 we get 9999 9, 9, x equals still when we subtract the other side will be zero then uh three seven two one so that will give us uh x equals to one two seven three divided by nine 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 this means that the fraction is one two seven three over nine 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 thank you for watching this was part one you can wait for part two